welcome to our last day of school chapel. We made it. We made it to the end of the year. This is the last day. I have enjoyed bringing you chapel messages, messages of hope and encouragement for the last couple months. It definitely has been a different ending. So we're going to begin our chapel. I have a few surprises along the way. We're going to begin our chapel in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My first surprise is we have with us this morning, Pastor Lucas, and he's going to bring you a message of hope and encouragement today. Hello friends, it's good to be with you today. I'm glad that I have this opportunity also on this last day of school and this last chapel. It was February the last time I did chapel with you all and brought a message to, of hope. I hope that you will in, appreciate and receive as well. We're gonna look once again at our theme verse four this year, Hebrews 12 verses one and two, which reads as follows. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us looking to jesus the founder and perfecter of our, of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame and is seated at the right hand of the throne of god we're called upon once again to run with endurance the race that is set before us it's a race that god has given to us because he loves us, and he has already made us his own through his son, Jesus Christ. And so we want to share that good news with you, that we've been saved and that you've been saved as we've come to this time and an ending that we didn't expect. It can be very discouraging, but I want to encourage you today because Jesus is the author and perfecter of our faith. He is the one who endured the cross so that we could have life in him, and you have that life. You have that life because you have faith in Jesus. It's been a great year to share that good news and hope that Jesus has already made us perfect through faith in him. And as we are perfect through faith in him, I pray that you're gonna be blessed in the time that we are apart until the next time we're together. For my eighth grade students, congratulations as you graduate. I wanna really encourage you during this summer and coming into your high school years, they can be very difficult years, Fix your eyes on Jesus. Remember that he is the author and perfecter of your faith. Remember his great love for you and how he lifts you up and walks with you. That he is a God who even when you stumble and fall short, brings and gives to you the forgiveness of sins again and again and again. And he will never stop loving you. He will never stop blessing you. And so I encourage you to run this race with endurance and to run it with an eye set on Jesus. For those of you who will be returning with us, we're glad that you'll be back and we look forward to sharing with you how God abundantly blesses us in, out of all of his grace and mercy, well beyond what we can imagine. That will be part of our theme for the next year as we come together. I want to encourage you to look forward to the time when we get to share it in person. God's blessings be with you as we go forward in God's faith with our eyes fixed on Jesus. And now, friends, I invite you to put your hands in the air so that you can catch the blessing. You ready? The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Catch the blessing. Amen. Thank you for sharing that message with us, Pastor Lucas. It has been a joy to see you this last week, these last couple days to see your parents, to share some words of encouragement in person with you, and we look forward to that time when we'll be back together again. I'm gonna leave you today, after we end this academic school year officially, with a special gift from our teachers, so I want you to look forward to that. So now we come to that part we do every single year. I now officially call 2019-2020 academic school year to a close. Yay! And now, here is our gift to you.
find you in the mystery In oceans deep My faith will stand Oh